Hey, folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Wednesday live stream where we are wheelie into Wales for a little bit more. We're back in Railway Empire 2 to try to finish that first scenario because it was a lot of fun and I would like to see it end. So let's get to work. Hey, everybody. Hope everyone's enjoying it. Today is uh, today's the summer solstice in the Northern Hemisphere. Longest day of the year. Uh, of course, Southern Hemisphere. Things are a little a little darker today, but uh, hopefully you're still having a good day. <laughs> choo choo choo! Quick, everyone change their vote to the wolf pack. Yeah, so I'd asked uh, I'd asked earlier on uh, Discord what would people prefer uh, between uh, Rimworld wolf pack and uh, the Railway Empire. A bunch of people had said uh, Railway Empire pretty quick, so I said, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, take care of that and see what we can do. And yeah, I love I love the fact that for the railway stuff we can play the uh, the blues tunes to lead into the stream as well. That depressing just means winter is coming. Well, I mean, the temperature is going to continue to rise for a bit. But yes, technically starting tomorrow, the days will start to get shorter, but they'll still be pretty damn long. Pretty damn long, I think. Let's quickly read some subs and resubs and then we'll dive into the game. Uh, oh, Parduk with another uh, gift sub. Oh, that was a couple of days ago. Never mind. Misread the alert. Uh, resubs. We started us off today was Demids at 47 months, Blissey at 96 month resub. Thank you very much for that. Darv Tormans at 27 months, Temporal Trash is at 45, Kalaric 58 months, Zip Sirium another 96 monther today. This is holy moly, eight years. Thanks for your entertainment through the years. Quill, it's been a pleasure to be part of this community. Here's to eight more years and beyond. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. My concern, my worry is always at some point, do we have to change things up? To keep you know the channel growing and doing this and i don't i don't i don't wanna i don't know hopefully we don't hopefully we can just keep going the way we're going foggy night is at 49 months a cold ankle is at 19 mg z shonix at 105 months says destroy new york pillage their capital wait wrong game destroy their public transport well that's also the wrong game we're trying to build transport uh we're not we're not playing um um, a road building simulator. Palm Wedge is at 90, 83 months. Yabdat is at 89. And Cassie Empre is at 67 months. Thank you very much. And Jesse M, thanks for the bits as well. Cheers to you. Uh, oh, for everyone like good, gave some bits right before the stream started too. Thank you very much. All right. Do, 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 do. Oop. Oh, I missed your 3 0 sub from the other day. Doc Villain, I'm so sorry. Dang. I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Destroy their transport, then pave it over with your own. Yeah, it would be nice. So um, this scenario here seems relatively non-competitive, like non-directly competitive. Like we can't even expand into this region here, the mid-Atlantic mid states. It's all blocked off for us. But at the same time, I think our competitor who's set up down here is relatively static. So we don't really have to worry about what they're doing. Um, meanwhile, we're going to expand over there. And in particular, I was actually thinking we might expand into Quebec today. Um, and the reason is this, our task list over here, which we've just sort of started on this set over here, um, we have uh, all three of these, we have until the end of 1833, which is some time away, three years away, so we got plenty of time. Um, we need to make an express status on the rail line between Albany and Buffalo. That does mean we have to have a train that goes fast enough between the two places. I think we have set up an express train to do there and hopefully it will successfully do a fast route between the two we'll take and keep an eye on it um and see what we can do we might have to make some more specialized lines or something like that stealing a train is crazy it's like the perp had a locomotive oh, it's map staring that's terrible uh we also have a mission to reach sixty thousand citizens in albany and it is growing it's actually got the the double growth right now presumably it um i don't know when it hits the next um size oh there you go 40,000 is going to be the next industry allowed, and I think it will also have a new demand. So we'll have to keep an eye on that to keep the fulfillment of demand nice and high in Albany so that it keeps growing quickly. And then also we have to deliver eight loads of corn to Boston. Now that may happen in theory because we do have some rail traffic from this corn farm. Hype! Oh, do we, have a, do we have a stream hype going on? Oh, thank you, everyone. That's Starfire with the Prime resub. Thank you. Uh, Low Hill as well with the resub. Thanks a bunch. 62 months over there. Thank you. Just mirrors Lake Ch Champlain missing. I don't know where that would be, fortunately. Um, yeah, so we have the corn going here because we have to deliver it, and I'm not getting confused this time, right? It has to be corn to Boston. I keep flipping Boston and Buffalo all the time. Stupid B words. 
Um, but what I'm thinking with Boston, another place we can get corn is just north of Quebec City over here. So if we buy the access rights to Quebec, first of all, we could just line from Portland to Quebec City, and we could set up some passenger transit between them, that would be fine. But then what I could also do is set up a farm over here at Henry Farm, or set up a station at Henry Farm, and do a direct line from Henry Farm into Boston to make sure it gets a consistent corn delivery. And then after that, that line can be tweaked to maybe stop in a few different places. So I think that's probably what we're gonna do here to advance the quest. Um, hopefully the finances continue to be strong, we'll see. But that's, 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 my, that's my vibe over here. It's going up on YouTube. Yeah, I think I think so. I've got I've got a I didn't do the one from Saturday yet, but I'll probably put both back to back. Oh, and we just got enough science to unlock the next tech. Like literally just now we just hit 300 points at the start of November here to unlock the next tech in a straight line, which is tender. And I figure we'll continue going down this route here. Tender reduces the construction cost of all buildings, including factories and railway buildings by 5%. I mean, no reason not to grab that, I would say. I mean, I guess we could consider grabbing foundation for cheaper bridges right now because we're about to build some rail, but no, I think this is the way to go. Boom. <laughs> it's usually on the south side of Canadian border, just under Montreal. Okay, so Lake Champlain would be over here. There's a looks like a lower elevation area over here. Maybe that's where it would normally sit, but they just didn't put it in as a waterway. Mm -hmm. Is there a way to get more innovation points per month? Is a great question. I don't know the answer. However, you can build a university. Constructed is required for more citizens. Yeah, I don't know if this actually does anything for innovation points. I thought, well, maybe there's a chance. There's also a library over here, but it just looks like maybe demand ways. Maybe it does modify it. I don't know. Um, if we go into here and we mouse over per month, there's no tooltip sort of explaining how we're getting our innovation points. Um, I guess, uh, hold on. If I go back into research and I open the tips and tricks. No, I don't see anything about innovation in here. So I don't know. It might be fixed. Bale says, as far as they know, there's nothing to boost innovation points. Okay. I think in the first one, it was similar. Um, it was just, you could choose a background that maybe gave you more. But I think the reason that the innovation points are semi-fixed are probably to keep a certain just pace for the technology to develop. Anywho, okay, I guess the first thing I have to do is purchase access to the Quebec region, which is gonna cost just a quarter million bucks. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to see in general, how much would a track from Portland to the vicinity of, if I click, can I keep building? Yeah, to the vicinity over here cost. Yeah. Um, now some of that is tunnel, some of it's bridges. Well, the bridge here is unavoidable. So I'm gonna say we don't have enough money to complete this right now. So we will have to let the simulation run a little bit and hopefully make us a few bucks. First one, you could build a university from re more research points, okay. Now I suspect we'll wanna connect a uh, banger to Portland here just to like get a little bit more traffic, but I don't think it's a priority. Banger's pretty small. I'm not sure if it would add a whole lot of cash. And I'm thinking there's gonna be a direct route to Quebec City. And then what we'll probably do is do some sort of like some sort of T-junction effectively to hook into Banger at some point, but I don't know. It's a new game. Uh, well, I mean, the game the, as a whole, Railway Empire 2, just came out two weeks ago, I think, and then uh, we played it for the first time on Saturday, and it's a continuation from that. Is the time running? It is, okay. It's like, I think I got in fast forward, but even fast forward's not that fast. No, uh, so Sudbury does exist in the game on the big world map. If you play it in this scenario, it doesn't exist. Sudbury would be right over here. Uh, the Northern Terror region doesn't exist in this scenario here. But uh, Sudbury didn't exist in 1830, but they do have a placement point for it in the, the big global map. Presumably, there are some scenarios that are probably meant to be played on later eras where it's there. But I don't think the game has a concept of... Um, of cities appearing or disappearing with time. So I think they just have static placements, just not in this map. Okay, we did get our express status line working between Albany and Buffalo. Um, I, is it worth keeping? I mean, maybe? I think it's, yeah, this one over here, which currently hasn't made any real money. Um, I don't know, M maybe we'll keep it there. Oh, there is one line that is currently losing money. Albany Mason's Rest. Presumably it's not particularly new either. And you're just helping to shuffle some beer and grain to Boston. 
Yeah, but sometimes you might bring back sugar. Uh, actually, Albany probably doesn't have demand for sugar. Oh, no, it does, and it's satisfied. I don't know. I guess we'll keep the route going. Maybe. I'm not sure. You can found cities in later scenarios by feeding resources into them. Oh, so what, they have, like, blank markers for this could be a city location? So it's presumably a city of population zero is probably how they programmed it or something like that. But that is interesting. So yeah, we're kind of just waiting for a little... Oh, should we, maybe we should just take out a loan. I mean, it's not like we're short on time. We've got plenty of time to fulfill some of this. And in theory, some corn might reach Boston from over here. I guess one of the things we could consider is buying this business um, and then maybe upgrading it. Feed me resources. Feed me, Seymour. It's like Railway Tycoon 3. I mean, yeah, pretty similar. One thing, oh, um, New York actually does have a um, does have a request for fruit, which I believe is being unsatisfied currently. I was looking at that before the stream, um, right over here. I mean, it doesn't consume much, just 0.6 per, I think, week. Yeah, so Cole's farm produces twice as much as New York wants, but we could still do that, and it wouldn't be much of an extra route to connect up. I don't know how profitably, profitable it would be, but maybe? I think when I was looking for fruit, I think, yeah, no one else has got a demand for it. I do wish this display was a little different. I wish, so these cities have zero demand. So it's in red because they don't have any, but they don't have any demand for it either. So I kind of wish this was a different color, like yellow. So we had green for producer, red for consumer, like an active consumer that is unsatisfied. Or, or maybe, I don't mean, do they turn yellow when they are? I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like they could do a little something with that. Although Boston at some point, actually Boston just hit 40K. Does it want fruit now? No, at 45,000 it does. It's still growing though, and it does mean it has got room for another industry. That might be worth looking into. What is getting... Do they still least consume sugar? Sugar and fruit. And they produce liquor. Is there a liquor demand? No, no, a yes in New York. Boston to produce chowder. Bad Frenchie, bad chowder. Where do, like, where do we get milk from? I guess not cattle farms. I guess there's a different type of farm for milk. There's dairy over there. I'm just not, I'm just not a winner. I mean, I guess if I did start the liquor thing here, it would double the request for um, for fruit, which would make the Kills Farm expansion ex extra profitable. Check the list to see which industry is needed at each pop level. What list? Like the demand list over here, I guess? Yeah, Boston won't want liquor until it reaches 60,000 pops. It's already getting clothing from New York. Wooden planks. Now that's interesting. New York wants it. Boston will want it soon-ish. And there's no production of it. I'm guessing the raw lumber. Um, wait, I'm trying to select. I, can't click that. I guess we could build the sawmill here and already that would make money sending it to New York. And then at some point it would also sell domestically in Boston. Four hundred eighteen grand. I don't. I think I'm gonna prioritize. Like that's an investment. I bet you that investment would pay for itself eventually. But I think I'm gonna prioritize getting the route to Quebec City up first. I feel like that's the vibe. Did Banger just grow? I thought it was a one tick. Oh, it did. I think it did just grow to twenty thousand. Maybe it already was, but I don't know. I bet you got some passive delivery. Yeah, whether how much this is different from uh, Railway Empire One, and it should have been a DLC versus an expansion, uh, or versus a, a, a sequel. Yeah, that is it, it's a worthwhile discussion. Okay, stations are remarkably cheap. Um, actually, I think I'm going to turn it this way, because I'm assuming we're going to want lines to Montreal. So this way the southern 
platforms can turn and go across the water. So let's draw the connection to Portland. Then definitely Gotta not have a tunnel. Um just route around some of that there. Hmm. This part here is tricksy. But perhaps this would lead to reduced... What's the red? Can I construct... Oh, tunnels of this length. Yeah. That's probably what the red part is. Just an illegal tunnel. That is quite the slope. I, you know, what? I was just thinking about City Skylines 2 um, right before the stream. And yes, I am very hyped. I should do this. I'm gonna make it a little longer. Bring this part up here. Downhill there. There's also a limit because of the curvature. Although our trains don't go that fast right now anyway. Zero percent, minus one, zero percent, zero percent, one, two. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense that there's sort of an uphill tr track here. But that's, I think, kind of unavoidable. There's going to be some amount of uphillage here regardless. Turn further up. I mean, could do this. Try to change the angle a bit more. I'm still trying to avoid the elevation. I guess we could do this. Like, I don't know. So at some point, the question is the track length versus the speed achieved, right? Yeah, it's great if you can go faster, but if the track length is bigger, but we can't get, it'd be nice if we could get like an estimated time to do this, like put in a, put in a, you know, uh, a sample locomotive, some example locomotive. Here's how, how long we think the trip will take. And then what we're doing at that point is trying to optimize for the length of the trip. The trick I used to click and drag the marker around. Well, that's what I've been doing, All right? I was taking this and wiggling it around and see what would happen. But. Yeah, so I I don't know. What we need here is the uh, this is like we need to get um like the derivative of a curve, right? Of like the time speed to find the sweet spot where it, it meets up, but uh, we can't do that. Anyway, I'm gonna call this good enough. It's fine, probably. Um, I think that when we build a parallel track, it will it won't add much cost, but we might just run a singular train between these two for now, just to pay for itself microscopically. But how quick because your current engine? Yeah, I don't think our current engine will hit those high speeds right now anyway. We're hoping for some upgrades, but yeah, I guess I don't have to worry too much about the actual raw speed. So what we'll do here. Oh, I didn't realize. That's the station. Had we, no, we'd already made it like big at some point, hadn't we? Or we started it with it big. Because I was seeing this building here, but maybe it's a ghost. Did I just spend to upgrade the platform a bunch? I mean, I think we're going to want it, but I hope I, hope I didn't. Because I didn't necessarily want to do that now, but oh well. 
So if we were to make a new rail line that is Portland to Quebec City with our best locomotive, which is just on John, the John Bull. Yeah. So we'll just get it started and maybe make a few bucks. What are we talking about with the silent T? In, in Mont. Are people saying Mont? Or am I saying, am I saying, did I say Montreal? As opposed to Montreal? Oh yeah, Montreal. Yeah. M-O-N-T, Mont, just means mountain. This is, this is the, this is the Royal Mountain. And there, there is a Mount Royal in Montreal, which is like, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. So in English, you'd say Montreal, but in French, Montreal. Sometimes the first language sneaks in. Oh, Banger just, just shrunk. Or Bangor. Either way, those are those people say both of those. Um we probably okay, it's gonna be a long trip, so I'm gonna suggest we're gonna want a maintenance uh depot over on this side. And we're gonna want the supply thing, but let's see. Oh, right. I can't. I just can't hit the uh, the parallel build button anymore. Oh, that's annoying. If I'd done it immediately, there would have been a handy little button to add the parallel. Now I have to do this, don't I? And just say like, no, no, stay parallel. Or is there still a function that I know about? So if I'd done it immediately. There would have been the handy little button to instantly making parallel. But I didn't. So I think I have to do this. But you can still click. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can still click both stations. Oh, are you saying if I click here. And then, oh, I built these on the wrong side. I don't know if this is going to screw up my track. Wait, did it destroy the entire line? Shift click to set a demo marker. Oh, for fuck's sake. Excuse me. You do get the full refund, but now we got to draw the whole goddamn thing. And yeah, I was adding lines before. Uh. All right, here we go again. I can't believe it deleted the whole line and not just a segment. I mean, I can sort of believe it. It's not the most ridiculous thing to ever happen. Like, it's not inconceivable. But I was seeing like I was seeing sections being highlighted because I guess it wasn't deleting the. Um, uh, the last bit connecting to the station, so I assumed we were just deleting a little segment. But you know what happens when you assume. Will curses on the screen. No tunnelage. Did we end up with a better track this time? It's cheaper. It might be better. And now I can hit this button. Ba Boom. And build the other track as well. All right, it's still a fair amount of earthworks to get this done. So it's not it's still not dirt cheap to do it. But yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do the other bits here. Run one of those. 
One of those. Okay. And let's get some supply towers. Now, do we still have... I think it deleted our uh, track too. Oh no, Portland to Quebec City. Are you still going? Okay. So you it probably just blink a ported or you, maybe you reset. That maybe you reset and you're going again. The dirt's free, it's the labor part that gets you. For the earthworks, yeah. All right. But the real thing is to extend this over to corn and then feed that into Boston. Oh, bonus. Oh, we got a bonus for building a new industry. Uh, okay. Well, we'll work on that. Yeah, we got 100 points again. But we're going to wait on that tech right now. I know, snap the train. What about the other side? Uh, supply towers do seem to highlight both sides. Or, I, I don't know if they're limited to two. Like, I don't know if we had four parallel tracks, if they do that as well. But, but yeah, right now they do that. All right, where's our train? There it is. Passengers and mailbags. And probably the same on the way back. In fact, we might want to keep this train specifically as a... as an express. And we might want to... Well, this train's not filling itself up. Oh, actually, it'll be interesting to see how much develops there. I don't know if, like, more develops over time because this becomes available. Oh, geez, that is a lot of things waiting to come out of Quebec City. Wow. All right. How far does the game go tech-wise? You get electric or diesel at some point. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Rolling down the tech... Uh, well, yeah, no, there's definitely electric trains. So 1900 is the last tech block. Um, but yeah, we definitely go to electric trains. Cool. For express status, we need an average speed of 24 kilometers an hour. Currently, it says currently zero, but presumably after it completes the round trip, it'll get credit for it or something. 1930 is the latest tech, is it? Well, the last divider I can see here is 190, but may or 1900, but maybe that's the limit for this scenario. That's possible. That's still still zero as an average, but maybe once the round trip is done. Oh, or maybe because it's not set to express period. Maybe because it's set to mixed. No, oh, there you go. Considered an express train ticket. Revenue, plus, oh, that's a that's a broken string. That's a that's a programming uh, format string. Deep pockets. Oh yeah, this makes further auctions cheaper. I mean, we definitely want to bid on this. Plus, well, we get a discount. We don't have any more money than this, so yeah, we can't we can't bid more. This is like the second time. Yeah, they forgot a closing bracket. This is the second time an auction comes just after we spend a bunch of money. Although, to be fair, whenever I have money, I spend it, because why would we leave money in the bank when we could use it to build more trains? Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because auctions. I mean, no, you're right. Now, the auctions are just for getting tech via money rather than innovation, and it's not... It's not like the Deep Pockets one is too important, although it does let us access this, but we can access it from the other side, too. More trains equals more better. I mean, it's a train game, not an auction game, for crying out loud. Might be a game triggering the auction event based on current money. Crusader Kings 2 does this 100%. Game just being a troll. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> God, I love train games. I like how it's carved out the extra little spot here, and I like that it puts in the stonework. I think the, uh, I think the, the only, the, the sort of, repeated complaint I've seen about this game is from people who would like more control over train tracks for like signaling and stuff. And I mean, 
that is fair. That is an appeal of train games. But the problem is like, always a question of scope is if you insert that kind of like min max, like micromanagement, some people don't want that because they want to focus more on the, uh, the business side. Maintenance needed. There is a maintenance depot at both sides of this track. It is just a really long route. It's a really long route. Plus, these aren't the most reliable trains in the universe. One thing we could consider is when we do get to uh, to over here, if, assuming we skip deep pockets, but we backtrack here, we can go mineral oil for less maintenance required, uh, reduce maintenance time and increase reliability. And that might be well worthwhile because we have been having a lot of breakdowns. That is a bad place to break down on the bridge. Yeah, the passengers in there must be freaking out. Like machine, can we have a train inch? I got to revisit that because we revisited it early. I think it was in, I think it was in early access. And there were a few things with the uh, signaling that I didn't care for at the time, but they didn't. They did fix things. I mean, mostly it's because they sort of didn't have uh, chaining signals. So there was certain limitations to what you could construct. Well, we're back up to a half a million bucks. I'm thinking we're going to go ahead. The other annoying thing is when the um, the auction starts, I don't think you even have the opportunity to go and uh, take out a loan because you can't get out of the auction screen. Here. The the slope is basically going to be impossible to avoid, although I suppose we could go longer and like weave and minimize it. But 4% grades, not the end of the world, but we clearly have to make sure there's no tunnel. And yeah, here, whether I bring it up or down, it's just going to make the grade worse on one side. So I think we're just going to have to eat that. <laughs> um, yeah, I think there's no real option there. We'll get this set up for parallel lines. I mean, it's really well. Hmm. It's really going to be one train, but I'm actually not sure about that. No, let's go ahead with it. Build that. Get this. Line directions go. We'll get a supply tower in between. So this rail line isn't going to connect Henry's Rest to Quebec City. It's explicitly going to be Henry's Rest to Boston. We have a mission to bring corn to Boston. So we're going to do that. Choose the John Bull. It's going to be, I mean, it's aut automatic is fine, but we can say explicitly, listen, you're going to be freight. Just deal with it and go. Do, 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 do. There you go. Our mission is actually to deliver eight loads of corn to Boston. So we only have to do this once and it's going to complete this over here. We have gotten one to Boston because very slowly, some of the corn from here is making its way through our um, warehouse chain to reach Boston. Oh yeah, we still have the mission for an industry in Boston. Uh, we could do liquor because New York will take it. And at some point, Boston will grow enough that it'll want it. We can do the lumber mill. I mean, let's just do liquor. It's going to be fun, right? So um, I can't remember how much it was going to cost us. Distillery. Okay. 640. I think we'll have time. We can always take out a loan to make sure that we can do it. Imagine combining this game with Ticket to Ride. Ticket to Ride is a lovely board game. It takes like no time at all to explain to people. It's, like really easy teach. But also deeply strategic, where, you know, people who have played it dozens of times. Oh, well, Malice Dix, thanks for the gift subs to Essentia. Um, people who have played it dozens of times who are expert strategists and board gamers will still find a lot of joy in it. It's got just the right amount of competition. Love with Railroad Inc., a roll and write. Yeah, I haven't played it, but it seems really cool. Yeah, it's true. This will cover the uh, the loan penalty, just, but we don't necessarily have to rush. Assuming we can reach it just naturally, we got we got two more months to go. We've got some income. Oh yeah, I keep looking at that, but I don't have enough yet. 
go. One more cash money. And I don't know if we get... Do we get a cash bonus or so doing these? No, I don't think so. I think it just keeps progressing it forward. I don't know. Do we get a bonus? If you miss a task, the game ends. Okay. Well, the faster you complete... Oh, and we get points to get a score. Canal wasn't finished until 1825. I'm almost a little injection. sorry that it is to become obsolete so soon. I go into, like, our finances. Do we get, um... No, we got nothing from bonuses here. I think we got a lot of money from the corn arriving, but that's about it. I mean, we might want to take out the loan just so that we can also do the orchard immediately. Um, was it, oh no, the distillery was for sugar. Oh no, sugar and fruit, it needed both. Ticket to Ride's also on Steam. Yeah, I, uh, the Steam version's pretty good of Ticket to Ride. Yep. Ooh, Boston growing super fast. Look at that. Double doot. Maybe because I got the corn. All right. Let's get that bonus ASAP. Distillery, sugar, and fruit. Does it need both? Or is it as long as it's getting one, it's getting something? Suppose we'll find out if it starts producing immediately. Yeah, big profit boost. Oh, there we go. Let's get creative accounting. Oh, we can issue more bonds. I mean, I suppose we could have bypassed this by going around, but. F it. Let's do a bond. So I'm just going to go for lowest interest rate at this point. It's got a short term. I mean, oh, hold on. I don't know if this is interest per annum or interest over the length of the bond, in which case this is probably better. Ooh, I don't know. This is just bonds. Interest usually pay quarterly at the end of the term. The entire bond has to be paid back. This is on the right there, I think. Interest collected at the end of the quarter. Bonds are automatically repaid at maturity. So is this 4.9% every quarter? In which case we want the lowest interest rate. But the thing is, just because the interest is collected, right? It could be like, it could be 4.9% per annum and you're paying a quarter of that every quarter. I mean, there's there's different ways to, um, to amortize a loan in real life. But I'm going to assume we're paying 3.9% every quarter. Because, I don't know, in which case, we just want the lowest one here. And this should be plenty. I'm going to try to keep enough money around, but we'll see if that'll ever happen. Oh, you know I love to spend it. There we go as close as possible. So what I want to do? It's nice that we can get all the money back. Should we change our mind about something? Parallel to there. Hey, well. What are you doing? One percent, one percent. I suppose this could have paralleled some more. Hold on. Um, trash you. Oh, right. Of course it does the whole thing. There you go. Oh, 
helpful parallel attachment point in the original chain. Yeah, but if you go too far where there's a curve, then it doesn't work right. So you have to put these, some little points along the way, at least is what I've found. Okay. Second track's facing the wrong way because the track is continuing. I mean, this looks okay to me, Gritsy, or you think there's something else going on? Seems to be flowing correct. On the outside of the curve, you're good. Trying to cut inside can be a problem. Okay, so far we look okay. Hopefully, maybe, who knows? Let's pretend. Never mind. Oh, yes. Uh, we pro we will be connecting New York, but on a separate one. All right, this is coal stop to Boston. And I mean, it will be freight, but again, the automatic probably would have been fine there. But there you go. Load some fruit. Now, if I wanted to do a little bit more to connect New York, let's see how that can work. So from here... there how do we say I want a level crossing I don't know if you can is this is what people are saying that the oh what the frack There you go. It's fine with this. Okay. Let's pick any tracks. It is like City Skylines. A bit of a climb here. I mean, I could avoid some of it. Yeah, we'll call it good. We'll call that fine. I'm hoping that despite the fact that we don't have any manual signaling that not a, and none of this is going to be a problem. We're going to have to have faith that these automatic signals that have been put down will do the right thing. I'm hoping this is long enough to park a full train on it. A signal in this game is another train game we can't get it right. Well, we have no manual signaling. So we have to kind of hope that it just works, which isn't great. Actually, I wonder if I should have, you know what? Let's buy this now. That's going to start an auction. You know what? We don't have a lot of cash. What if our opponent buys it? You know what? Let's more debt. More debt, right? It's fine. Highest bidder is me. I mean, maybe because... And there we go, we get a discount because we have a built-in minus 30% thing. Um, maybe because the opponent has no interest. So did it pay? Do I just... Okay, acquired. There we go. So it can be upgraded as well, which we may in fact do. So I wanted to buy it before this became super profitable and the price went up. You're not fully leveraged and you've been trying. Exactly. Because again, the idea is if you can grow your business at a rate that is higher than the interest rate that you're paying for things, then you should absolutely be doing that.
All right, so now that's done, I'm thinking we do our Quebec City Montreal route. Since we still have some money left over. Although, something something repay bonds? No. Quebec City to Montreal. No repay, only take. I'm gonna have it run on a separate spot. Although, oh yeah, what would be nice, if I'd extend this more, I could have a big um, uh, gridiron to to share all these platforms, which might help with some of the throughput and stuff, but I guess we're just doing it this way. In our reward later. Okay, that is a straight shot, zero climb, no tunnel. Wow. That's really good. All right. Grid iron. Grid iron. Direction. Montreal. Quebec City. Uh, you can stay on mixed. Just be generic. Oh, choose locomotive. Confirm. All right. You buy your comp competitions, producers, and cut them from the rail lines. Um, I don't know. Well, we probably can't do anything here at all. Yeah. Marb! Hey, thanks for the raid! Have you been playing this game? Can't remember. Can't remember what my, my latest subscription list looks like. How's it going? It's going great, Marb. Nice to see you. You know what I've been playing? I don't know. Were you ever into Civ 4? I've been playing some Civ 4 on my own. Not recording it, but I've been playing it on my own again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think of you as a Civ 5, Civ 6 player, but you might have started on your channel earlier than that. I'm not certain. But yeah, we can't um, we can't access these other zones in this scenario, so we can't get involved. You ever did a Civ 4 on YouTube? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Civ 3 nights, that's no respect. I keep thinking we're going to do some sort of um, some sort of retrospective where we do Civ 1, 2, 3, and then, you know, maybe continue forward and see what that's like. I keep talking about it, never get around to it. Barb, if you want to steal the idea, that's fine. But I'll tell everyone to harass you that you stole my idea. Oh, Boston Albany Co Railroad outstrips the competition. Nice. It was pretty good because they went and they were set up ahead of time. So presumably we, we've just grown over time, which is good. We got our corn to Boston, which means I could change that track, but I think we're going to keep going with it. I think we're going to keep growing Boston. Albany needs some citizens, but it's growing very quickly. It still has the double arrow over here, which is beautiful. The Alpha Centauri 2 should do some more Alpha Centauri. We've done it a few times, but more is good. And we'll just skip over Civ um, Beyond Earth. It was, it was fine, but it mostly just reeked of like failed opportunities. I got cash. Let's keep expand. Oh, I would have to buy access rights to Southern Ontario, which is oh, quite pricey. Yeah, so we'll wait a tick, but then we'll do Montreal to Ottawa, Ottawa to Toronto, Toronto to London. Then we could pick up some more resources here, too. We could also just go ahead and just build more businesses um, or buy more of these little things and grow them. Although right now we're OK. I should do colonization. I was never really a colonization player. I never played the original colonization. I played it at some point. They um, they put out some sort of like gold box for Civ 4 that included a colonization remake, and I dabble in that. Always heard it wasn't quite as good as the original. Oh, is Christopher Odd here? Hey, we just cut the end of the stream. Hey, Christopher. Ooh, hang on. Is tomorrow the day for the, uh, the update for your game? How come it's not in my calendar? Oh, is it my business calendar? It is. Excellent. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did we only ever meet once? Chris Fraud at like the XCOM event? Or is there another thing too? Can't remember. Oh, do we have a connection bonus going on here? Oh, for the lumber. Interesting. Everyone's currently fully supplied for lumber, although this is moving on its own to those two places. We do have a connection bonus, so we may as well do it. Um, Probably cheaper to go to Albany, but what I'll probably do is do the one station that just services both of these. Uh, Wool, I don't think has any 
Well, New York is being satisfied with it, but does want it, which makes sense because they've got a clothing business. It's probably moving there automatically. Okay, I think a good thing to do, 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 do would be to slap it down just in the middle of these two. Um, Some sort of angle that makes her life a little easier. Probably something like this. Connect on this side first. Is it all that wants it to all be bridge? Um, no, listen. There you go. Earthworks instead. Oh, still a bridge over here. Not the most expensive bridge in the universe. Oh, and more there. You know what? Hold on. There. Five percent. be fine again it's not a um, it's not an express route or anything like that so I think this is probably okay oh maybe this is what someone talked about there's a little parallel helper if I just click here it does the right thing! Although it is gonna have to build a micro bridge over here, but it's super cheap. Oh, that's very handy. I hadn't realized that. Do I add more platforms for the New York City one or just come off of this? Platforms are pricey. I just come off of this, it will be slightly more, um, more track. Platforms are dummy expensive. Dummy expensive. Dummy expensive? Dummy expensive. You know, I used to be with it. I didn't change what it was. And it'll happen to you! Hey, how do I in invert this? To tell it to connect the other way. I probably just have to put a point here and then do that. You know? That is some gradient. I'll say it probably does have to bridge here. Oh, boy, that bridge is dummy expensive. Might be unavoidable. Why are you exclamation marking? Don't be. Hey, oh, no junction are allowed on a bridge. Oh, okay. So you need, you need to not bridge instantly. Yeah, that's not gonna work out though. happened to you that deep just then yeah pretty sure us 30 somethings have the correct definition of it i guess what i could do is from here just build it parallel for a sec so that it doesn't have a bridge at the junction. Um, why are you making, <laughs> why aren't you making a curve? There we go. Boy. You know, I'm starting to think this isn't worth it. All right, alternate plan. From here. Oh, but it's going to complain because it's a bridge and it can't junction here either. Son of a bitch.
Oh, we might need a little more room around here for the parallel track. Actually, what's making me think is, let's build the inside part first. And you can connect from the other side of the station. Well, we were starting on this side of the station. And no, we're too close to this river here. So it looks like the long way around the back is actually going to be better. This is actually fairly affordable. This bridge a little unavoidable. I think this is probably fine. Why is that track to build from? Am, 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 am I missing something? Did, or did people not see me try to build from the other side? Just no, I guess I could start... Oh, I could start from a completely different platform. That, I guess, would be the other thing. Is rather than piggyback off this track, I could build another platform. Now, platforms are... Add money, but maybe less than this. But we still have to bridge over here. I think we end up doing... I think this ends up being cheaper. Yeah, I don't love the 7% grade. That's true. The problem is this is in the way. Like, I can't... I can't avoid this. Okay, that's track planning number one. That's 237 bucks. Let's go to track planning number two. If I were to open another platform with the idea of this joining over here. I do love that we can kind of just keep the planning open. That's quite a lot more expensive. Can avoid a bridge for a little while. Um, oh, I think you're trying to cut the track there. We end up with more of a grade, and it's more expensive. Yeah, no, track one. This is the way to go. Uh, move the seven percent in the ground a little bit. Oh, yes, you're right. Thank you. Because it was on both sides. Okay, let's do that. That is better. Slightly more expensive because of earthworks, but I think worth it. We'll dig, we dig this ditch. I think that's okay. All right, so we're going to build that. Then add a parallel track there. Chuka chuka. Tower. We'll stop to New York. Alrighty. <laughs> Wait, was there a compare plan feature too? Or just are you just talking about a good cycle? There's a compare plan that's even nicer. Oh yeah, and we're getting a connection bonus over here, which is the reason we started building this, but it actually will be legitimately quite useful for us and should make some money. Currently steam powered only, but later on we do get um, we do get electric. Uh, and perhaps diesel, I don't know. I think electric does come first, like did come first in real life, which seems weird to our kind of thought process, but I think that was true, wasn't it? I might be wrong. Oh, you just cycle between plants compared to yeah. There you go, deliver a bunch of wool to New York, which will help its textile industry. Does not satisfy the connection bonus? You're connected. You're connected to two different places. Oh, maybe we haven't dis delivered any um, any wood yet. Well, this line here. Click show rail. Wait, did I not? Oh, I didn't actually build this one, did I? The hill stop to Albany. Because this one here is only ever going to deliver wood. because I don't have a gridiron over here. There you go. Yeah, that 
is why. Okay. So this one should only be delivering um, lumber to Albany. And it was actually the lumber mill that wanted the connection. Because Albany doesn't care about yarn. Or wool, I should say. All right. No, 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 no. Albany is growing very quickly still. It's still got the double up dudes. So very fast growth. There we go. And yeah, we got ourselves another profitable route. Boom! Extra problem. It, it showed up when this train arrived here. Unless that that train, maybe that train had just been carrying some uh, some lumber. That is entirely possible. The other thing we can do is we could put a warehouse in Hillstop and have it um, work for for grain or whatever if it's not fully satisfied. New York does want sugar and vegetables, but there's no vegetables in a glance here. We could get sugar for Mason's Rest. I mean, simply by building a warehouse in Boston, which we do have a warehouse in Boston. Oh, no, we have a maintenance depot over here. Oh, that, I guess that's because it's owned. If we built a warehouse in Boston and have it hold sugar, it would eventually make its way to New York City. Might be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Eventually up near the dairy. A way up there, yeah. It's not the closest. Does anything want clay? I would love if you could click on this and from this screen, get the demand as opposed to going here. I also wish that there was a differentiation between things that have zero demand and things that have demand in terms of color. So you could very quickly at a glance see where things are. But no, clay must be consumed by a specific industry. Uh, I'm guessing ceramics. All right, income is improving, which is great. The bonds will automatically get repaid at the end of their term if we have the money. So I don't have to explicitly do it just sit on the money and have it done or I can keep spending money if I want to expand which usually I do in fact I think what we'll do is we'll expand through here for now or we could wait is Albany about to hit 60 it is about to hit 60 which will refresh refresh our tax task list so let's just see what the tasks say after we finish oh cotton farm near big lick I don't know if there's any re well we do get a pretty big discount but we can't actually expand on this side, and it's not currently being serviced. So I'm going to say no. Then region requires you to uh, obtain concessions. We literally cannot obtain concessions. So unless our rival, which I don't believe grows, would expand there. Yeah. Sort of a bit of a booby trap. Let's go. We could buy more industry. We can also embiggen some of our industries. Although I don't know if that's required. Like, if we click on our liquor here. Utilization, 100%. So it's not accruing liquor, but it's probably being delivered in New York. At some point, presumably, that'll happen. Post in 1699. Why do we keep talking about the canal? There is so much less time between idea and realization. This is absolutely extraordinary. It works. Fewer and fewer travelers are using the Erie Canal because which one's the Erie Canal? Are simply better. Our company this? enjoys great popularity in Albany, and soon a new mayor will be elected. If I could win the election, I could use that to our advantage. Why don't you take a few measures to present me in a favorable light to the undecided voters? All right. Connect three rural businesses producing grain to your rail network. We have two of three. So get more grain, which actually Southern Ontario has got. Transport 960 passengers from Syracuse. Construct a university in Albany. Syracuse ain't that big. If it's going to transport that many passengers, I think we might need to embiggen it. Log, meat, issues with production, probably because you're overly full. What we could do is we could set up a train like Syracuse to New York, first of all. We have 500 peeps waiting to leave? Oh, they do. Oh. Oh, and 
New York. So, I mean, if we just... Wait, is it Syracuse? Yeah, from Syracuse. We can just tra treat this as sort of a transportation hub. That is expensive, but it's going to be worthwhile. If and we... Start from the second platform here. Skirt around this. Through this narrow connection. Connect you up over here. But that is surprisingly cheap rail. Mostly level. And very easy for us to build a sort of a siding station over here to start picking up the salt. Looks like salt to me anyway. Maybe it's supposed to be sugar. Oh, seems okay. That seemed too easy. Um, shit, did I? No, that's correct. put a siding on this thing or station grid iron is literally just for the station okay oh wrong direction right hand drive quill looking okay over here yep fake london fake york yeah i'm gonna put um Light power here. And up here. I don't know how often it needs it, but it feels like we could use two. It feels like a really long route here. Syracuse to London. We'll start with just a single train for now. Okay. Game look could be a paradox game. I mean... Maybe, I, I don't know, uh, those of you who, um, you know, those of you who love City Skylines, which of course is made by, ooh, you need water supply. Do we not have a supply station between these two places? Oopsie doo. So, um, City Skylines is made by Colossal Order. It's published by Paradox. They work very closely together. Um, they originally put out games before City Skylines called Cities in Motion, which was just transportation games. And so there's definitely some some overlap there. It's a game where you spend 90% of your time looking at map. Yeah, but you know, all the games we love are like that. There's more than just paradox for it. Oh, so next time we get some tech, which actually is next month, we can get a new engine than Dunham. New City Skyline look awesome. I mean, it's sort of kind of City Skylines one with like some of the stuff we love from mods. Like if you were a heavy City Skylines 1 modder, some of the stuff in CS2 is like, well, I mean, I sort of already had that, but there's still a lot of other things in it. And it certainly looks like it looks better and hopefully the engine runs better as well, right? That's one of the things we're hoping for in the next iteration, I would say. We can have bigger, more intense cities. But even then, even just some of the quality of life stuff built in is gonna be nice. I'm very eager. I assume regardless, it's gonna be a huge step forward. Dropable roundabouts, proper slip roads, yeah. No, I think it is going to be considerably better. Traffic action is going to be in the game too. Oh, I probably missed um, an update video or something. So I didn't know that. You, pe you people seem to know more than I do. What are you carrying? Beer! Mmm, beer. Yeah, I suspect we're going to want two trains in this route. Well, maybe I'll wait for the Dunham to show up and do that rather than have to redo all my train lines. I don't know if there's like a bulk update train lines button, you know? 
I'm betting we have to do one at a time. There's still one unprofitable trade route, but it's barely losing money. So I'm going to put up with it with the hope that it's still helping to grow the city. Yeah, what resource here? That's a... It is indeed salt. The lifeblood of Twitch. And currently there is no demand for salt anywhere. It might just be used by an industry. Is there like a food processing plant? Big unprofitable... Oh, apple is there. Be nice. Average balance. Okay, yeah, those are those are fine. I guess the coal stop over here, yeah, isn't the most profitable, but is it just? It might be because there's not enough output. Yeah, see, this isn't accruing anything. We might just want to go and upgrade this. Yeah, connecting Toronto. When I finish the route to um, to London, I think we only had three hundred grand, but it's going up very quickly right now. So we have enough now to. Backed up to... Was Cabbage Town one of the nicknames for Toronto? Or at least one of the areas of Toronto? I want to say yes. Oh, and also if you're a... If you're a certain type of Canadian, it's Toronto. That's Toronto. Cabbage Town was, is Toronto. There you go. All right, not that. Um, I'd rather not tunnel. There we go. A little gradient is fine. Uh, some maintenance depots in all this as well. Because currently neither London nor Toronto have it. Uh, hold on. Dunham! Ooh, Boston Albany Railroad. New railway station. Currently 17 railway stations connected. And now, London to Toronto with the Dunham. Much faster speed. More tractive power. Reliability went down and needs more maintenance. Still probably worthwhile, right? Toronto's got the gridiron. Ooh, bid. I actually have money this time. Well, now we got a bid. This guy, well, he doesn't expand, so all he's got is money. Like, he's got a static railway, so it kind of makes sense that nothing is happening. But I think we're going to want, we, I think we're going to want two, London, Toronto, especially since London is producing cloth that Toronto wants. Yeah, um, I'm going to add a second train here. And... Oh, right, wrong thing, we need this building maintenance depot in Toronto. It wants to still be an express, only the faster engine. And right now it does have a full thing. I'm actually thinking it might need two trains. So a Dunham with two trains between Syracuse and London. This is a long track and it seems to be fairly busy. So we're gonna do that. I don't know if there's like, it would be nice to have a bulk train upgrade tool. Because this is kind of tedious. I'll at least do the ones that have earned express ratings. Hey, Dunham reached 40 kilometers an hour. 40 kilometers an hour? 
That doesn't sound possible. Okay, all the ones that had an exp- oh, nope, there's another one here. All the ones that had an express rating have been upgraded to the newest train for now. All right. Oh, hello. You can bulk upgrade in the engine shed. So the engine shed is... There's a display for it. Engine shed. Oh, you can see what it changes like. You can change paint jobs. Okay. So I'm looking at a John Bull, which I have. I don't see a bulk upgrade. I'm looking at Dunham, which I would like to upgrade to. I don't see in the upper right corner. Oh, replace engines. Oh! It'd say replace all uh, with a Dunham. Oh, except it would literally replace all of our trains, including existing Dunhams, with a new Dunham, which isn't what we want. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, it does filter it. 15, 0. John Bulls would cost us 106. All cost us 106. Okay. Yeah, identical locomotives cannot be replaced. You know what? Sure, let's just do it. A lot in CS2 mods never did. Air pollution wouldn't affect... Oh, yeah, there's going to be seasons, too. I remember that. More accurate building scales is really nice. Yeah, no, I, 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 I should have been like, or for the first time we saw a trailer, the first teaser trailer or whatever, some people responded, well, this may look like a little bit just like CS, like CS1 with mods. And the point is that that is definitely not the case now that we've gotten more information. It's very obvious that it's not. And I should have been a little bit more explicit about that, because yeah, even me not knowing everything, I know enough to be like, yeah, there's a lot of new shit in there, which is really good. That's a long route. Just pick of elevation in there. They eliminate tunnels. Good. Why are you speed limited? Did we come to this corner? There we go. There you go. Max all the way. Basically no grade. Quickly click. Clackety clack. Gridiron. Gridiron is all gridiron, someone said in chat earlier. I mean, it's a quote from Sis4 that's actually about pig iron, but still. Ottawa to Montreal. Supply tower go. And new train track between the two. It would be nice if it defaulted maybe the latest train, although if you did that, sometimes you'd be picking a freight for an express route and vice versa. So maybe it's fine that it's not like that. Depot. And now let's collect, connect Toronto to Ottawa. The capital of Ontario to the capital of Canada. Alright. Now, if we just veered south a little, first of all, we wouldn't be going through a native village, which is great. There's a corner here, but apparently it's not slowing our our trains. We're hitting max speed the entire time. That's looking kind of okay. Pretty sure the capital of Canada is C. Gene C. And it says it's been for many years. So Vancouver is the capital of Canada. Yeah, people people in Europe all know about Vancouver all the time. It was for a long time when I would travel to Europe and I'd say I'm from Canada. They're like, Oh, you live in, you live in Vancouver? I'm like, No. And at first I was just like. What? Where'd that come from? Then it became such a thing. It's like, because as I as I, I finally decided to do like a little map calculation once to be able to give people an idea. I wonder, it could be more level over there, but I don't think it wins. Uh, the distance from Vancouver to Sudbury, where I live, is the same distance as Madrid to Moscow. So Canada's really big, if you didn't know.
Yeah, I went I went out to uh well Victoria BC, which is very near um Vancouver. And I think it was a six hour flight. Something like that. Uh, the gridiron, I think, is in place on both sides. Or no, it's not. Okay. Oh, I did have it there. Okay. And I live basically geographically, kind of in the center of Canada. Uh, Ontario tends to be referred to as part of like, sort of the eastern part of Canada. But when you actually like look at it from the extents of Canada, kind of physically in the middle. Again, Canada's really big. Okay, that looks okay to me. Ooh, very lengthful over 7,000 kilometers. I think we'll put two trains on this. Now, did I put a maintenance depot in Toronto? That's good. I think I've got one in London, Toronto. Do I have one in Ottawa? Yes, good. Okay. I think that's gonna be good. Uh, you're waiting for the train to be deployed. Which is probably okay. <clears throat> I had to explain to Europeans that I can't just pop over to Chicago from DC. It's over a thousand kilometers away. Yeah. Seems you forgot one way system to the east of Ottawa. Ah, indeed. That's probably why there's some waiting going on here. Done, done, done. Did I gridiron? That's what this is here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, uh, you're still waiting to be deployed. Toronto to Ottawa. Iron. I think it's just waiting to be deployed because it waits for the train to get like halfway because it's trying to spread them apart, right? Yeah, okay. I think that's all right. I think Winnipeg solution to the center. Yeah, well, yeah, so. Um, part of it depends. Like, like if you're considering, you know, it, because if you're waiting by like size of the geography, it gets a little bit weird because when you're looking at, say, like, like Newfoundland and stuff like that, you know, there's there's quite a wide extent there. But yeah, um, Winnipeg may be a little closer. I think maybe Thunder Bay is a good center point. But Sudbury's not that far away from there. And yet, yeah, like, the, the important thing is to mention that I'm not on the East Coast is sort of the vibe. I'm definitely much, much closer to the center than I am from the East Coast despite being such a huge distance away from the West Coast. Quebec City is shrinking. Oh no. You need some grain. You need corn. Okay, what we could do is we could get you um, a load from Henry's Rest. Actually, why don't I? I don't, I don't want to change track direction. Very good. I'm That's in track direction mode. There People you go. People in Albany were still skeptical about the railroad. Your success will silence even the hardiest naysayers. We're going to do this. We're going to have this also deliver some to Quebec City. We might need a second train on this route. Mm -hmm. Remember the capital of Finland is Helsinki because it has a funny sounding name. Helsinki. What makes it sound funny? The hell part? The sinky part? Syracuse has shrunk. What? Apparently we've, we've transported, uh, maybe that's why it's shrunk. Everyone has moved away from Syracuse. I guess I can construct a university in Albany any time. Well, I think it needs a population of at least 90,000 to be allowed to be built. I think I remember, yeah. Yeah, city's too small, so Albany has to keep growing. Oh, hell is sinking, ah. Uh... Drinking. Oh. You need lumber, you need meat, 
You need sugar. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this is Buffalo to Sawyer's Rest. This is waiting for Buffalo to Sawyer's Rest. But they're both facing the same... Well, it looks like they're facing the same direction. Correct me if I'm wrong. It looks like both trains are heading towards the right. And yet somehow... They're stuck. I mean, admittedly, there's only one track wide thing. I get that part. But I'm still confused as to why they're stuck. Oh, that's fine. I'll just. Oh, yes. do that. Did I do this one far enough? Really? Look pretty far. Uh, maybe with the curves you can't grid iron there. Oh, because the gridiron part has to be straight. That's why. I think it teleported the other train away. And reset it. Wait, I learned this. Train A is leaving Ottawa, heading east at 30 kilometers per hour, and Train B is leaving Syracuse at. <laughs> Alright. They still just have the singular track part here, which... In hindsight, so, um, when I did this, uh, before, I just ran this extra side track, and I realized now that, um, we could have done things differently. But that should be alright now. Small breakdown. Syracuse has shrunk. I know, I'm sorry, Syracuse. Yeah, I guess the red arrows were pointing towards the center. Just weird because physically the trains seem to be facing the same way. Maybe one of the trains was doing a weird loop thing. All right, let's take a look. Are you still not accruing apples? Although, you're not. it's not at zero, but I am wondering about upgrading this to produce more. I'm just going to do it. Yeah, some of the stations, like, part of me is, I am thinking what we need to do is um, more landings, even if it's just, like, the, the two-way track, but do, like, four platforms and then do, like, a four-step gridiron that merges into the two or something like that. Or you're saying a three-to-two cyber? Yeah, same thing. Just get the, the spare one. And well, we're going to keep an eye out for more um, more stalled-out stuff. Our grain's okay because it is being delivered there. But I suspect Quebec and Ottawa might need it. You're okay now, but... Oh, because it's probably being auto-delivered from this farm. So I'm wondering about this place, this farmstead. Sending it to Quebec and that. There's a ranch here too, although it is getting there on its own. So this is working. Well, we do have a mission to connect more grain. So let's go ahead and do that. While I'm at it, you know what?
By the way, I have decided to run for the Democrats in this election. I believe that I can best represent our interests as a candidate for this party. A micro tunnel. That's okay there. Oh, they were happy because I collected the grain. That's why. Who is talking to us? What historical figure is talking to us, I wonder? Because I'm assuming this is based on a, a real person. So your job is to deliver grain to Quebec. And your job is to deliver cattle. Clearing your banger. Um... That's going to be worth putting a bid on. It's cheap as hell. There's a big Andrew Jackson. Good money. We haven't actually connected Banger yet. And it might be the time. Do this. Oh, that's looking okay. Second track over here. Looking good. Gridiron there. And track direction. And then while we're all at it, ooh, double duty train station. Not that there's any demand for salt anywhere yet. mini tunnel. You know what? It's fine. I like tunnels. It's whiskey and chocolate. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay. Hold the phone because I'm going to forget what I'm doing here. Let me finish this and this okie dokie holy cow uh nato warsaw thank you very much jeez wow it really does help thank you very much um hey quill love the channel since your eu3 england videos that's what started us off on paradox I literally posted the first video of EU3 uh, and let's play for EU3 is England. I didn't know how to play the game. I just posted the face video. I'm like, I'm finally, I'm going to learn these paradox games. And this is how we do it. I'm posting video one. You tell me how to play. And I'm posting video two. Now tell me how to keep playing. And that's how we started it. And boy, that has ever worked out, huh? A weird question. Would you rather have your best friend as your parent or child? The option, my spouse? No, I guess it's not there. Um... Wow, that's tough because I can see pros and cons to both. I don't have any kids, so I guess I'd say parent in that case because it would be my only option. But that's kind of a that's kind of a cheap way to say it. Is it mayor of Albany? Was saying mayor of Albany? I guess I had it in my head of governor of Albany. But yeah, I guess it was mayor of Albany they're running for. So that's connected, which is good. We got to rural businesses, and we're waiting for Albany to grow so we can build a university. It is still building, which is good. We should take a look at other things. Oh, you're making planks here. Um, you could use more corn. Oh, veggies and fruit. And there's a star there because I think it's new. Let's say there's veggies up here. We could also get... We just increased um, coal stops size. Why don't we make a new line that is coal stop to Albany. I was going to say they'll have to either drive through New York or they'll do a tour out in Boston. This should work fine. Oops. There we go. Feed it some fruit. And then we'll open up a veggie 
pit stop over here. We may as well have the station cover the uh, clay as well. Maybe I'll turn it so that you can feed a line through these two later on. Start and outside of city may not touch a city. Sorry, we're touching a city? Is this the city? Oh. I mean, I guess if it connected to Syracuse, it'd be okay. Then it would be legal. But otherwise, you can't touch this. Um, ooh, this is very awkward all of a sudden. I don't know, we can just have it. Connect to Syracuse. There's also an annoying little hill here. Anywhere else we can get veg from? That's more convenient. Why are you... There it is. N the answer is no. There's some more over there, but it's definitely not convenient. Okay, plan B. Let me demolish this. Move it a little. Now, I remember this freaking landscape from playing Railroad Tycoon 3. This area is rough. Now, the problem is, I don't know if this is crazy. Wait, I'm trying to get the fruit to Albany, right? Yeah. I got myself confused. bad fairly pricey but we could make the bridge shorter oh i don't have any money right now oh that's okay we can keep the plan open i think that's fine i think yeah the plan stays which is great i love it so what we knew is we can have a few plans ready to go and just expand on it later um, okay, I can't plan the parallel track with it until the first track is done. Okay, it's fine. Parcel drop. Increase the amount of packages in all cities with one of your trade stations 5%. That's quite nice. Although I think I was going to go into the reduced maintenance track at the top here. Or wait until we get Derwent for a specialized freight train. This is more mail. Oh, and mail is more valuable. Ooh, that's a good combo. Waiting for the money. Grenade on the other side. But we do set track direction. 
and then we say we want a new train line from Robert Station to Albany. Confirm. All right, so now we're going to be feeding fruit into Albany. And clay, but they don't want clay. It's going to be all fruit all the time. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go down the maintenance track. And then backtrack over here. I think I'm fine with it. Is that fruit? Um, or sorry, uh, vegetable is what I meant to say. Sorry, we're already bringing fruit from Coal Stop over here to Albany. We are bringing vegetable from Robert's Farm to Albany. Which should hopefully give it a double growth thing. Which will get it to 90,000 a little faster. Yeah, backtrack, I know. The research track, backtrack. I'm just railroading the puns over here. Yay! Now they outstrip the competition. Value reached almost 15 million. So yeah, so Albany. Yeah, it's full of beer. And wooden planks. But should now be getting... There you go, it's veg. This will probably hit 100% in a sec. And the fruit as well on the next month tick, I would assume. Or did it just go from 20% to... 30% per day. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it just it, it increases by a tick every day. Yeah, there it is. 40%. Perfect. But very soon it will probably re well, what else does it need? It needs corn. Oh, it also needs liquor and cheese. Oh, it needs salt. No, it doesn't need salt. No, it does. It does. Well, shit. All right. Leave room for more tracks. Sure, two or even just one is all we'll use. We'll probably plan around two. Open up for five. That's Make sure. Salt. Albany. I guess one of the nice things, if I do flag this as freight, then later on, if we get a specific freight train, I can filter for freight and then upgrade. Liquor. Um, we have a Boston to Albany line. No, we actually don't have a direct route between Boston and Albany at all. Do we just do it mixed? I think I might make two. One, that is an express between Boston and Albany. And a separate one, which is a freight. Oh, Albany just reached 90,000. I mean, right now it's the same engine, but later on they can be specialized. So now that it's done that, we can go ahead and build ourselves a university in Albany. Well done. People are ecstatic about our new university. Have you heard yet? We've won the election. Woo! I am now the mayor of Albany. You are truly a genius. I just spoke to the mayor of Philadelphia. They're willing to grant us access to the southern part of the East Coast. For a fee, of course. Oh! We should definitely take advantage of this opportunity. This is unlocked now! We finally meet face to face. Ah. We haven't been formally introduced yet, but really, there's only one thing you need to know. Nothing goes down here without my permission. I'm any bigger New York. As long as you don't get in my way while on my turf, we'll have no problem with each other. Oh my god, so many more missions. What an unpleasant guy. It's best not to pay any attention to this bully for now. Let us focus on earning money. Express route. Ooh, that's expensive. Ex 
express route from Boston to Philadelphia. Salt to New York City. Oh, we can do that now. Um, we have a route that goes Albany, New York. If I just have a warehouse in Albany and I give it the permission to stockpile salt, hit this interface. There you go. So now presumably in Albany, some or some of the delivery from uh, Nolan Terminal to Albany will actually be a placeholder for salt. Also, we can build a new industry here. I'm not going to build a local beer thing. I could go for ceramics because you will be getting clay from over here. I just don't know if we've got anywhere to deliver it. But I think New York was taking it. Actually, Albany might have demand for ceramics at this point. It does, actually. I like how it reroutes the roads and stuff. There we go. Optional task to buy the other company. Oh. Buy 3%. Optional task buys company out. Right, so we can start looking at these shenanigans instead. If I just buy a bunch of money, if I if I just save up 12 million, which honestly, I think we can do. We Our income's pretty good. I don't think it'd take us that long to earn it. We might be able to just um, whip out some bonds. Like we have to, at some point, these bonds will have to get repaid. So they'll, they'll time out. I think they just got reset because their term is basically there. But because um, I think they get reset for a full year. Um, and I guess our bonds are limited to um, the value of a company. So as our value grows, we can actually take out more bonds. But we can use that to get a little bit higher. Still, I think it's going to take a while before we can actually go and do that. So we might want to just go ahead and expand to Philadelphia. Find the AI stuff is tradition, then you demolish your shitty rails. Nice. Reach 75,000 citizens in the Mid Atlantic States region. Inheritance, distant but wealthy aunt, has unfortunately passed away, bequeathed you 100 industry stocks. Stocks of the type portray a specific sector of the economy will appreciate if the economy, economic data, He's bigger improvement than projected. You can access... Yeah, okay. So yeah, we have 100 shares over here. Hmm. Well, they're not worth that much right now. That's interesting. Oh, do we need... Um, sorry, I hadn't noticed. We need coal. Oh, snap. Coal there, it's coal over there. Well, I guess the easiest would be to just bring in coal from here. I'm surprised the cities just don't need just coal by themselves. You know, for heat and whatever. What I might do. here um then maybe okay similarishly Bridges aren't the end of the world. Long bridge, but it's a deep ravine. Hey, 
payback period for this isn't going to be the greatest. Especially if I parallel track it the entire way. Although the second route's quite a bit cheaper. Eh, let's do it. It is going over the widest part of the river. You're right. We could have gone a little further and cut there. Although the ravines just as bad here as there. It's a little narrower here, but there's some other stuff going on. And actually, the levels are pretty bad. Oh, man. Oh, oh, hold on. It does stay open. Oh, shit. It continues in real time, even if the game is paused. Game. Rude. So that got us this tech immediately. We're going to go and hit the detonator now for an improved reliability of our railways. That's actually quite nice. Oh my god, real-time auctions. Yeah, I'm going to leave this in here. I'm not going to worry about rewriting things. If nothing else, this is a really cool-looking bridge. I like it. Or at least I'm going to convince myself that I do. Albany, do you want milk? Probably. Yeah, it's currently being supplied, probably just by this road here. Yeah, so I guess you're fine. As long as you're growing, it's okay. We might be able to make a few bucks there, but, you know, what? how long is the payback period? Let's not worry about it, as long as you're still currently good. One point five million in 1830. Yeah. Now we're loaded. Our business has got to be closing in on 20,000 value. Or million is what I meant to say. But apparently we're still at 16 million. We're done maintenance needed. Oh, I guess. I mean, we don't have a maintenance shed in here. But I hope there was maintenance at the other end, but maybe not. So let's go and slap that down. Train completed last one without freight. Blackmail! Companies received a blackmail letter. Author demands a quarter of a million in case of non payment. They threaten an act of sabotage within your company. It could affect a certain track, rail line, rural business. It needs security personnel. Um, we do have the money, but I kind of want to refuse on principle. I'm going to refuse and see what happens. The blackmailer was actually serious and sabotaged one of your tracks. We have security personnel. I mean, they're fully crewed. They're full 100% efficiency. So, where was it? Over here, I guess? Track can't be driven on or edited for a month. Okay. Not the end of the world. I do like that you don't have to micro the personnel the same way. We could go and increase some of these numbers to boost some of the quality. New cash out bonus. How long does that last? Oh, there we go. Never paid and security's always saved me? Really? Yeah, I mean, we had 100% security efficiency, or so they say. We didn't pay a bonus to the security people there. We just paid a bonus to the engineers. We're going to be responsible to fix the problem because the security people sucked. Well, I mean, we may as well buy our access into the mid-Atlantic states, right? At this point, buying the company is... Well, we can do the 3% purchase now. We have some cash. I mean, hell, I could go way more than that, but... Start with 3%. Very good. The citizens are highly satisfied with your performance. Well, 51%. We, I think we have to buy 100% to actually win the company, which is weird. Because you would think, yeah, with 51%, we'd have to control. See, if you own 100%, the company is yours. And then you can merge. Investors and sought to take over and spruce up the infrastructure. Yeah! No auction! Frick yeah, we'll just buy out the Buffalo Brewery. 
That's great. That's really good. Can you buy 51% higher some thugs to break the other guy's kneecaps? That is an interesting game that you're thinking about there. All right, we're going to assume the expansion in here. We're going to be ready to build the station in Philadelphia. And then yeah, Boston to Philadelphia. We'll do a direct line between the two. Um, well, I wonder if it's just got the intermediate. We'll have it drive through New York, but we will have a line that's direct between the two. Companies in campaign mode are weird. The works out where I'm made. That's pretty standard for these games, though. Maybe I didn't make myself clear. So one more time for halfwits like you. Hands off my territory. If you don't tear down this ugly shack right now, I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. Bring it up and avoid some. Oh, we ha we're having to tunnel underneath his tracks regardless, aren't we? You know what? It's not that expensive. Dude in red suit spitting like, bro, you ain't much nothing. <laughs> Heard the guy, my proposal wasn't as ridiculous as I thought. One thing I like to do is make vertical integration in a way I didn't own a factory. I wouldn't serve it, starve it, product, product get it cheap, and give it the product back. Yeah. I think the game designers hand me the route. If you buy the company, you'll get some bizarre choices. These bizarre choices. Never expand unless it's a cool update. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, campaign in... A lot of times in these games, the campaign modes are weird. The AI is not playing a full AI. Campaigns are also like a semi tutorial, right? So the guided expansion as opposed to just like a free form scenario or sandboxy kind of play. Really? Hold up now. You really want war? Best settle your affairs because tonight you'll sleep with the fishes. Oh, you better be careful. He means business. But we must not let this intimidate us. I'm afraid we have to live with these sabotages for now. At least until we put this gangster out of business. I'm thinking I'm going to go and... Increase my security wages and pay out a bonus. Make sure they're on top of things. Okay, direct line, Boston to Philadelphia. You will be an express. Aim for the kneecaps. I don't know, I thought you aimed for the center of mass. Oh, we should get a... Um, Supply station on this route. Uh, New York's got a maintenance depot, but you're right. Let's throw one in Philly. They're not that expensive. Farm near Ottawa. Yeah, I'll bid on that. You're welcome to this junk. Let's get it hooked up.
for now, I'll just deliver to Ottawa. Well, I don't know. I want this thing to be fairly profitable since I do own it. Let me connect the other side over here. Um, I might just still have one line, but let make sure, let's make sure there's always demand. Jones Station to Ottawa, Jones Station to Toronto. We've done them. It's obviously going to be freight and confirm. There you go. Always be some good place for you to sell your product. That place doesn't need a maintenance depot because it'll have one on both ends. Press status, which will take a little bit. Salt New York. Oh, there's no demand until it reaches 70, which it is indeed not quite there. And it is not currently growing. It needs grain. You know what I'm wondering about is buying this so I can upgrade it. Oh, it's actually full of grain. Well, never mind. Let's do a rice rest to New York City route. Very good. It was about time that we also enter this market with our own goods. Oh, hang on. My triple route here. Part of I just build that. That junction now invalidates the gridiron from existing. Hmm. this does there we go now you can do it avoid such hmm I guess my lazy little no direction track here. Well, you know what might be time then? Is since I've learned things since the last time when I set this up. There you go, we do this. And then in fact, this little line doesn't need to exist at all. Yeah, I'm hope I don't think the old route gets deleted. I think they just like do the re-teleport and reset themselves kind of vibe. There you go. No more complaints. 
Let's get some grain to New York City. Now, I think I should do the same thing in Sawyer's Rest. This is the same sort of one-track situation. Well, although... Yeah, no, it's the same sort of issue here. trying to save money earlier, and also I wasn't sure how these crossings, you know, if they behaved the way I wanted or not, but they do. There you go. Production is near rent maximum inventory. That should be okay. So they're strange <laughs> to be fine now. I'm laughing my head off. Left to your own devices, you'll tear yourself apart. Oh, shush you. Oh, that's right. I did delete this gridiron. I got wanted to get rid of it because I wanted to get rid of the triple track, but then I have to put the old gridiron back. Thank you for the reminder. Check directions. Looking good. Okay. Boring question. Does it feel like fun game or like war? Oh, this definitely feels like fun. It's uh, the joy of these types of games is you feel like you're kind of puzzle solving, which is great. We're gonna get ourselves a Derwent. Now we might upgrade a bunch of our freight routes to use it. My stove has more power than this. Oh, it's after four. I gotta go and put a cut in here. I got things to do today. Um, a Kiss for Luck stream is not happening right now. I believe it's being pushed back to a little later or just maybe pushed back to tomorrow. I'm not sure. Uh, so we're just gonna call it quits now. Thanks everyone. We are going to finish cleaning up rice rest. Is there still something that needs fixing over here? Hold on. Before we go. Directions are good. Oh, we still have the single track over here that is dumb, but I think we'll leave it for now. Uh, next live stream is going to be on Saturday. No idea what we're going to be playing on Saturday, but we'll be playing something. Thanks for coming out, everyone, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.